I know some me, I'm a ball of come from Booga Minor to Stable every time, see? See? And I know for Christ to Booga Minor every time. Oh, this is magic. Oh, 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 this way. Hey! Come again, man. Come again, Daddy Jedlock. When you see I'm a baller, you must have seen love so long. Shackle. Oh, King Poe was a merry old soul. Merry old soul was he. Blessings, blessings, my people. Welcome back, you see me? So people, today we're going to talk about an artist from Jamaica that I am certain that most reggae dancehall fans do not remember. This is an artist that started doing music from a very young age. Yeah man, he was a kid star. You see people and he has had a fairly successful career. And the artist that we're talking about is none other than Rolando McLean aka yeah, me bolo. We're gonna talk a bit about his musical journey. You see me, so let's go. So, people, Rolando McLean, otherwise known as Yami Bolo, was born on the 1st of October in the year 1970 in Kingston, Jamaica. You see what I say, people? And, people, at a very young age, Yami Bolo was exposed to music whilst going to church with his parents. He was a little youth who stand out amongst the other youths. You see people because he would always be rehearsing and practicing how to deliver his music, you understand, by singing songs that him himself write as also singing songs of other big entertainers, you know what I mean, just to get his vocals right. So this little youth would always go around and entertain the people. People. And as a little youth, he have sweet, sweet melody. And the elder them in the era used to always rate him because of that and always big him up and make him know say youth, you know say I go big, you are gonna be a big artist. So people, the hard work and practice that Yami Bolo put in as a little youth did not go unnoticed. You know what I mean? As he gained professional training as a member of Sugar Miners Youth Promotion. You know, Sugar Miners, they have a youth promotion crew where him train the young artists, them and oh to deliver their music, you know what I mean? And in the 1980s, Yami Bolo get the opportunity to receive professional training from that school. Because as you see it in the people, Sugar Miner, them didn't know say, in order for our music to live on, you know, you have to train the younger generation and how to deliver music. And the fact that you train them, what will eventually um they will develop styles and pattern of their own. You know what I mean? But the most important thing is for the younger artists them to really have the foundation. And they, you understand so them know the basics because people a lot of the young artists nowadays you know them don't really get the training you know a man just rise up and say boy him can rhyme two things and tell himself say him a artist and him a the biggest thing you know him record a song and put it up on social media and the song reach some places and him get some millions of views and him say him boss big and nobody can talk to him and nobody can tell him nothing and that are the reason why enough of the young artists them will break out today them don't really survive long in the music because they do not really know where the music is coming from them don't know nothing at all about the musical history when you ask some of them about some things them don't know nothing you understand that them are interested for no you get to mess with people and that are the reason why some of them fall down so sugar miner them was doing a very very good job guiding the youths them because when yami bolo joined the youth promotions crew yami bolo was about 13 or 14 years old you get massive people and he was given the opportunity you know what i mean to express himself just like many other veteran dancers slash reggae entertainers from back in the days you see massive people so sugar Minot do a great job you see it? people yami bolo first graced a stage show at the age of 13 years old when he performed a song titled When a Man's in Love and this was at the St. Anjo Technical High School you understand people you know the school did have an event and them bring on Yami Bolo as a little youth who go to school and an artist same way and he performed well you understand and that gave him even a bit more recognition and he continued to do great and deliver music well so much so that he was invited to tour with augustus pablo's prestigious rockstar crew and this was in the year 1987 so yami bolo's first singles were released in the year 
1986 and they were all produced by Sugar Minot, you understand? And he had his greatest success with Augustus Pablo in the late 1980s and early 1990s. In 1994, Yami Bolo earned international recognition from his collaboration with Japanese reggae performer Kazafumi Mizawa, otherwise known as Mia. When their album titled Love is Dangerous sold over 500,000 units in Japan. In addition, the duo's Mia and Yami project earned the Japanese best music video of 1994. And in the years to follow people, Yami Bolo continued to make very valuable contribution to reggae music just the same. You get the message people. Even though he is not a hot and in demand artist at the moment, you get the message people. The work with them veteran I put in, I work with people if you acknowledge. Them money are some of the man who help pave the way to make young artists know say yeah, you can make it true to same way you see it, yeah man. Them youth yeah, are some youth where yeah, motivate the younger artists them because them youth are do it from them young so even though they not really I put out no whole heap of song with people that can't say yeah I had song in a Jamaica you see me because them man of music still a sell worldwide in a Europe and them places same way you see me Yami Bolo also contributed to Damon Marley's 2001 Grammy Award winning album titled Half a Tree 2002 best reggae album so throughout Yami Bolo's career, he has collaborated with some of reggae's most prominent artists and producers, including Damien Marley, Tenasa, Sugar Minot, Capleton, Trapazuki, Sly and Rabbi, and King Jammy's studios. His success as a reggae artist has allowed him to record many songs professing the Rastafarian faith as taught by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church throughout his three decades in the reggae industry. Yami Bolo has been performing Rastafarian works since the mid-80s, touring with many different reggae groups including Augusto Pablo's Rockers Crew. His Rastafarian inspired music is listened to all around the world, particularly in reggae niche markets like Japan, Australia, Britain, the UK, France, USA and Germany. As an ambassador for reggae, Yami Bolo conducted Rastafari culture studies at the renowned universities like Sony in New York State and MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. In addition, Yami Bolo has supported the city of New Orleans and surrounding areas by volunteering his musical talent at live performances in Louisiana in the summer of 2009. So people, that is my bit as it relates to the musical journey of Yami Bolo. But people, you can leave your view, your opinion in the comment section. I will really appreciate that you understand people. And as also, you can like, subscribe, share. Peace. I know say me I'm a ball of come from Booga Mine at the table every time. See? See? And I know for Christ to Booga Mine at every time. Oh, this is magic. Oh, oh. I want this world. Hey! Come again, man. Come again, Daddy Jedlock. When you see Yami Bola, he must have seen Yami Bola. Shack out. Every time, see? 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 What jungle is true? Who see? Spangler is massive. Bunty Hunter. Now who goes? Yami Bola bumming up the chair, man. What two mile yeah. massive on a town crew? Pianland. Spanish on road. Easy. 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 Oh, King Po was a merry old soul. Merry old soul was he. Like old King Cole has lost his soul, has his melody. Listen to the magic singer, the boy you meet, the number one, the champion. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the champion. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh 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 no, no. Pop, waiting for you. See Now come again, Papa Ian. This last time, I know. I've had enough love, that love, that love before, and I've got toes and toes and toes, toes. When you say. 
just once more You came and it took control You touched my very soul You always told me that Loving you is where it's at You make me so very happy And I'm so glad you came into my Farmer, same all cultivator firm. Big up, run this one. This one is called Free Up the Herb. Yes. Ding 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 in the ghetto we are all a meditation We cook some food we under good vibration Herb is the healing of all nation Sent by the father of creation In the ghetto we are all a meditation But some herb we are We keep God To his imperial majesty For planting and creating This little tree this green tree You know how long Prisoners must be free See The bonnet in captivity Out of any temporary Hey, last note Herb is the healing of the nation Sent by the father of creation In a decade to which a whole of meditation But some herb we under good vibration Herb is the healing of the nation by the father of creation Hey! Rasta upon the earth Burn down the pentagon Rasta upon the earth Burn down the poking arm Hey! Rasta upon the earth Burn down the vatican See? Only to the Kremlin, unite all nation Well, hey. the earth is the healing of the nation Sent by the Father of creation In a ghetto, we have all our meditation We burn some herb with the good vibration Herb is the healing of the nation Sent by the Father of creation In a ghetto, we have all our meditation Hey, hey Rust upon the arm, bunch of the poking arm. Hey! Rust upon the earth, burn down the pentagon. Rust upon the earth, burn down the Vatican. See? Bunny in the Kremlin to unite all nations. The herb is the healing of the nation And the herb is the healing of the nation Rasta herb is the healing of the Watch it, watch it, watch it Worldwide disarmament Build up Worldwide 
disarmament. Yes, we want to hear you sing. Worldwide disarmament. And this will leave you with. We'll leave you with this one. Worldwide disarmament. Sing. Sing up. Worldwide disarmament. Sing, sing. I can't hear you. Worldwide disarmament. Sing up. Worldwide disarmament. I can't hear you. Worldwide disarmament. Worldwide disarmament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worldwide disarmament. Why? Ah, the holy war. The holy war. Please stop. Babylon them start the holy war. Another holy war. The holy war. Babylon them start the holy war. Another holy war. Holy war. Babylon them start the holy war. Another holy war. The holy war. Say Babylon them start the act. We need a worldwide disarmament.